So let's jump in. Um, first thing to do is to tag off your HTML tags. That will be the absolute basics of any website. Um, the tags are started off with an open bracket, closing bracket, and will have HTML in the middle. Um, you'll notice that the end tag will, will finish with a forward slash before the HTML. Um, next we do the head section, which again follows the same structure open bracket, head, close bracket, and also that gets closed off with close head. Same for body, open body, close body. Um, now we do actually need to put in a dot .type at the beginning of any HTML page, and this allows the browser to know what type of um, coding is used. I'm going to keep it short here and just put in that the dot .type is HTML. You can easily look up the full um, the full script which um, W3 Schools will provide. Um, the title, very important, this allows the browser to know what the page is all about. So in this example we're just going to put in that it's um, your website, I think. Just to give you an insight of what the actual document structure should be, I just quickly copied and paste. You can freeze the, the video and uh, just copy out that exactly. Or, as I said, have a look at Google W3 Schools um, doc type, and you will get the, the example. Um, the first tag that I'm going to put in here is a H1 tag, which basically is the, the large header or the descriptive term for any information that you're going to put beneath it and um, this follows down as far as about h8 i believe h6 h8 and um, so it goes h1 h2 h3 and just the important things to do is to open the tag and close the tag that is um, the most common issue when starting people forget to close the tag properly so you really do have to pay attention and just make sure that you open and close i find it easiest if you open and close the tag or writing the details that way you can easily see what you're supposed to do and um, you ensure that your tags are closed then you put the information in the middle and um, p is a paragraph tag and um, just like in any book paragraph is the main section of content so your h1 will be your main header tag your h2 a smaller point to make and a paragraph to actually describe out what the information is about and um, so in, within this section, I'm just going to keep it as short and, and sweet as I can. Um, we're saving this all. The, the idea to save any HTML document is to save it with .html. Um, I'm calling this index.html because when a browser looks within your folder, if you have lots of files, the index is the one that will be displayed first. And therefore you put the index page is your home page and you will have all your links in it now that I've saved it you can see that the um, that it has been saved with the, the little Chrome uh, symbol meaning that, that Google understands that it is actually a um, HTML document just making two other folders a CSS folder for the style sheets and an image folder just to put in one image and give you an idea of how to put in an image and um, for this the short tutorial we'll just display it as you can see when when i display the index page it's displaying the header tag the, the smaller header and the paragraph so the, to do that i just simply clicked on the index page now i'm going to take an image from um, from online just to give them um, an idea of how to link uh, an image and how to set it up so that it will display in three paragraph sections so a little bit of styling to it we'll take the arrow design logo just simply copy it over put it into a folder and there's the images folder try and keep that structure always that the images go in the images the css goes in the css folder your javascript goes in your javascript folder it makes life a whole lot easier once your website becomes very big you're trying to find where 
you've actually put information. It's a very bad practice to put everything into one folder and you will see that for yourself if you ever try it. Just to fill out a little bit more here, I'm just opening an image tag and uh, the script for that is open tag img space scr and equals then you've got the open inverted commas and I'm just putting in the location of the images so you can see here it's in Dublin web design example and I'm literally copying and pasting this in To make life easy for Google, we always put in an alt tag, which gives a, the um, gives a description of what the image is. Obviously, Google can't see what an image is, so it's up to us, to, by virtue of description tags and alt tags, to give um, a, a concise description of what the image is. This will help with your Google rankings. Um, and obviously you always want to try and make life as easy for Google as you can. So now when I refresh the page you can see that the Arrow Design logo has now been displayed. I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit so that we can see it a little bit more clearly. Um, pause the, the video if you need to copy and paste or if you're writing along with this. So I simply copied and pasted the, the whole um, paragraph of information inclusive of the header tag. So this is just to try and um, section off this. So we're going to have three sections, each section having a H1 tag, a H2 tag, a paragraph and an image. Um, so in order to do this, I'm giving um, and given the section, uh, the, the actual section ID, first column, section, close off section. Make life easy, I'm just copying and pasting this down. I'll call this um, second column. Make it column, whatever is easiest. It really doesn't matter what you call it, as long as you ensure that you refer to it in the same way um, when setting up your CSS. So the final ID is the last column. And once again, a close section. I could have set this up as a class or an ID and we'll leave that for a different video but in this section I'm just calling them the IDs and then I'm setting up a page for my CSS. Make life easy, I'm saving it in the CSS folder. And I'm calling it mystyle.css. Very important to remember what you name for it because you need your index page to reference out where your CSS is. That way it, um, it, it, it meshes the two of them together and uses the style sheet from mystyle.css to influence how the index page looks. So once again, pause this if you need to copy along. It's linkrel equals style sheet type equals text CSS and href equals CSS forward slash my style dot CSS that's the location of the style sheet and, um, style sheet text CSS and CSS my style all need to be within inverted commas Now I'm going to give some CSS to the IDs that I've already given. I've given the ID of middle column, last column, 
parts column. Within CSS, you need to um, describe the ID using a hashtag. So, hashtag last column, open with curly brackets, close curly brackets, and um, any information within the brackets is going to be the CSS that styles that particular ID. This is something that once you do it several times, it sort of stays in. Don't worry if it's the first time and it's all a little bit new. Just pause the screen, copy it down, and above all, just try. You know, there is no no strict rules. Just um, change change some of the information that I'm putting in, and you you'll see how it, it reflects on your your page. So I'm putting a width of 290 pixels, which is roughly speaking a third of the page. I'm putting it to float left, which means that um, if there's the information will move to the left. If you have a next column, it will it will sit nicely against it, also floating to the left. Once again, could I could make a, a another video just about float left or upright padding. So this is sort of information that you will get as you go along. And for the moment, just put down what I have, and I would recommend that you um, chop and change some of the information, try and get it to a point that you're understanding what the ramifications of changing this information is. Just to speed up things, I'm going to copy and paste the middle column into the last column. Just going to refresh the page. We can see that we've got the big header of the page, smaller point to make, and tree, and the, the, the paragraphs with an image. So, as I say, you can chop and change, move that around, see how it affects it. Um, so, now you have got the basics of HTML and CSS, basics of button structure, and how to view a web page in a browser. Um, so, I hope you liked my video, and um, thank you very much.